So election integrity, we're taking that pretty seriously. Uh, supposedly, at least we're told we're taking election integrity very seriously. Uh, so gee, what does that mean? That's me. In fact, you know, there's been some actions recently to improve election integrity. Gee, what does that mean? Are you going to require paper ballots? Are you going to eliminate gerrymandering? Are you going to eliminate the electoral college? How about superdelegates? Are you going to explore alternative voting methods like ranked choice voting? No, we're going to ban people from making videos. What? Let's check this out. Boom. From the Sacramento Bee, California is moving to ban deep fakes. What are they anyway? Let's find out what deep fakes are. California lawmakers, citing electric election integrity, are moving to ban the distribution of deep fake video or audio clips aim at, aimed at damaging political candidates, drawing condemnation from First Amendment supporters. The move comes as lawmakers fear that sophisticated doctored clips, such as the one falsely portraying Nancy Pelosi as slurring her words, could allow malicious parties to sabotage the election. Assembly Bill 730, sponsored by Assemblyman Mark Berman, a Democrat from Palo Alto, passed unanimously. So this prohibits a person, committee, or other entity from knowingly or recklessly distributing deceptive audio or visual media of a candidate with the intent to injure the candidate's reputation or to deceive a voter into voting for or against a candidate within 60 days of an election at which a candidate for elective option will appear on the ballot. I bet they put a, could have put candidate more in that sentence if they tried, but it would have been fucking difficult. A candidate with a candidate, candidate, you can't make a video about it. So that's awesome. They're concerned about electric, electric, I keep saying electric, fuck. They're concerned about election integrity. What do they do? They ban people from making videos. So that's an issue, but money and politics, no problem. Super delegates, no problem. Gerrymandering, no problem. The Electoral College, no problem. Voter suppression, no problem. Messing with results, no problem. Easily hackable machines, no problem. You remember those studies where they had like, like a 10-year-old was able to hack into our voting machines? And nothing's changed. No big deal. No big deal. Because if we have easily hackable machines, we, we can blame Russia for something in the future. It makes it easier for us to do that. All that, no problem. What is a big problem? People making videos. People making... And, and look at the way this is worded here. Let's go back to the article for a second. Uh, a person, committee, or other entity from knowingly or recklessly distributing deceptive audio or video... What does deceptive mean? What is that? That could just be anything with a point of view. And recklessly, what does that mean? So what if somebody has a point of view, they're expressing it, and they're ranting, and they're impassioned, and they're angry? Well, one can make, oh, well, that's deceptive. That's deceptive, and that's reckless, because you're angry. You, you see how this creates uh, beyond a slippery slope, this bill. This is Orwellian. This is a disturbing bill. And it's all, it can all be traced back to somebody made a video of a really powerful person that was unflattering. Nancy Pelosi, which by the way, I have a lot of reasons I dislike Nancy Pelosi. You know what's not on that list or nowhere close to that list? Her slurring her words. Who cares? First of all, I flub words all the time. I have a show where I'm seeing all the news articles for the first time. That's the premise of the show. We're getting our news on together. Uh, that's why it's called Get Your News On with Ron. Um, so I fumble over words all the time. I'm reading in real time. I kept saying electric instead of election. I do shit like that all the time. And I drink water from a freaking mason jar. Oh, and I have my cat with me. She is so tired today. Lucy, do you want to play later? Up, oh, she's starting to, yeah. She's showing a little bit. You're being shy today. Actually, you're just being tired. You're never shy. You're just sleepy. Anyway, so what a great priority. What an amazing priority by California. And this is, by the way, this is California. This is supposed to be the progressive utopia. But apparently, people making videos, 
big concern. When we think election integrity, that's where we go first. Not any of the stuff I mentioned. No, let's stifle people making videos. What an example of blaming the powerless for our issues. What, what a prime example of pure, in many ways, this is just pure propaganda because it's trying to brainwash people into thinking that their peers are the problem. And that's why the whole fake news thing is so frustrating. Look, I'm not going to sit here and say fake news isn't an issue. Of course it is. But when you think that fake news or, or people publishing bogus memes is somehow uh, more important than overreaching censorship and giving these huge companies the authority to just dictate what we see in here. When you think that's a solution or that's a worthwhile cause to suppress a freaking meme, that is the result of pure propaganda. That is you succumbing to pure propaganda. Because that's a ridiculous notion. That is an absolutely ridiculous notion. So, and here you have, here in California, they're counting on you to fall for it. They're counting on you to fall for it. Well, we ain't falling for it. Sorry. You want to talk about election integrity? Let's talk about accountability in the voting booth. Let's talk about voter suppression. Let, let, let's talk about... Uh, you know, the, the votes that weren't tallied properly. Let's talk about gerrymandering. Let's talk about the Electoral College. Let's talk about superdelegates. There's a lot we can talk about. Let's talk about alternative voting methods. Let's talk about ranked choice. No, we're going to stop people from making videos. That's what we're going to do. What backwards priorities? That shouldn't be even be a priority, let alone one lower on the list. It shouldn't even be a priority, period. Because that bill's going to lead to, I mean, read, just look at the section we read. It's going to lead to an Orwellian nightmare. Good job, California. Way to go. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know? Go through it together and make